Your Majesty, as I was saying before, my name is Ichia Nzegu from Nzogu town. This is my son, Pascal. He is a banker. We have come to seek for your daughter's hand in marriage. This wine is what I brought for you. You are welcome, Ichie. Nzegu. 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 Um, Pascal, my son. Yes, Your Majesty. Your father said that you are not from this kingdom. Yes, Your Majesty. Yes, Your Majesty. And I've been wondering, how did you get to know my daughter? Uh, did you meet her? Well, Your Majesty, she was my schoolmate in secondary school, but I left before her, and then I was in SS3 while she was in JS2. It has been a long time, Your Majesty. Uh, no, no. Uh, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. You heard them. Yes, Your Highness. Well, I think we should go straight to the point. I have no doubt that you have many things you, you, you have to do today. Um, first of all, my daughter cannot get married at the moment because she is still studying abroad. Secondly, um, you have probably heard that I am now the Igwe of this kingdom. <laughs> And uh, I, I have categories of peop people who, who can marry my daughter. Yes. Um, princes. Senators. Senators. Senate President. Speaker of, House Speaker House. of the House of Commons. Even the President himself. Indeed, even the President himself. <laughs> now you see that um, your son has not fallen into any of these categories. At all. Mm. Yes. We thank you. We thank you for, for, for wanting my daughter. You know, and we wish you journey mercies. Well, Your Majesty, we have understood all you said. My son, get this wine. Let's go. Ah, are you going with the drinks? Poor boy. <laughs> he is nobody. <laughs> but I'm never letting go of my heritage. The tone of my father's my destiny. The tone of my life belongs to me. Even if I lose it or give it away. Um, Mr. Joe, listen to me. The manager of Season Link Shipping Company just called me that the ship with initials SLK0013 will be arriving at the wharf tomorrow. In that ship, I have eight containers. Two of them with initials RYK, yes, contain ammunition. The rest contain lace materials and shoes. I want you to clear those containers immediately. No, no, don't worry. I've settled the customs. Okay, I'll send one of my boys to get you the money. Thank you. And uh, the marketing manager? They are in their offices, Your Majesty. Let them stay there. If, if what I see here continues, this company will not last 12 months. 
I want those two dismissed immediately. And make sure they never come anywhere near this company again. Is that clear? Yes, Your Majesty. Nonsense. Um, on a brighter note, I was with the governor yesterday. The uh, contract we bid for the estate of 680 million naira. We've got it. <laughs> Glory be to God. <laughs> Your Majesty. <laughs> you see why it is important to be in known and respected in the community. <laughs> we, we beat all our uh, rivals. Hands down. Oh yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, what I have seen these people doing must never happen again. It all happened before you, you, you got here. But it must never, never happen again. Yes, Your Majesty. This estate must be built under budget. We must do a good job. Is that clear? Yes, Your Majesty. We cannot afford any mess up. Anyone who tries or who, 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 who attempts to mess up must be sacked immediately. Yes, Your Majesty. And the project commences immediately. Like tomorrow. <laughs> yes. I'll issue a check for 150 million naira to start with. We commence. I wish you luck. <laughs> On a chair, welcome. Look at you. You're looking so good. How are you? I'm blessed. Um, I hope you didn't have any difficulties locating here. No, no, no. Your descriptions were very apt. Oh, okay. You're welcome. Um, honey, Thank do you, you remember him? Not quite really. I've been trying to... Yeah. The guy I told you was my girlfriend's brother. You saw him in my house in school. Oh, I'm so sorry, my bad. <laughs> Welcome to my house. Thank you. How is everything? I'm blessed. Everything is fine. Welcome. Thank you. Um, let's go inside so I could at least offer uh, yes. you some. Don't bother you some. But this is your first time in our house. Next time I come, I'll eat and drink. You know, please, take care of her. She's a very nice girl. Oh, as you can see already, I'm already taking care of her. <laughs> <laughs> um, how is Ogechi? Oh, Ogechi is fine. Where is she? She works in a restaurant now. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Where is this restaurant? Um, some restaurant on um, Satellite Road before the traffic light. What's, what's the name again? Ah, Nelly's Restaurant, yes. Mm. Oh my God, they graduate working in a restaurant. Anyway, that's by the way. Um, I have to be going now, okay? Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Anonche. Your boy gave me this check and this key. Oh well, this key is the key to that chip. And the check, just to thank you for your initiative. <laughs> Come. On. Oh, no, Jay. Oh, no, Jay. Say someone wants to see me. Yes, my boss. Who is your boss? He's in the car. Let's go and see him. Okay, Chi. How are you? Sir, you know my name. Who are you? I am Onochie. Onochie. 
Okay, okay. Um, I don't bother actually. Uh, it's been a long time, and um, I think we just met like twice or something. So it's okay. Anita told me you now work here, so I came to see. You. Yes, I remember Onochi. This is Onochi for real. God, is this really you? You've changed. God, am I dreaming? <laughs> is this you? No, you're not dreaming. Um, I get you. You're a good girl. You know, I remembered when you came to my house with Anita. And you said nice things about me. Thank you. Well, things didn't work out between Anita and I. So maybe that's the way God wants it. But how can a graduate like you be working in this place as a cashier? Mm. So it's unemployment. I mean, this is the place I can find now. But I believe in time to come, I'll get a better job. I know. Okay, I agree with you. However, have this. Oh man, this is one million naira. Just cash it at your company. Oh my god. Use it and start up anything you like. One million naira? Oh Jesus, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. Oh Jesus, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, sir. She just left. But I told her to call me before leaving. Excuse me. My boss wants to see you. He's in the car. Your boss? Yeah. He's in the car. Yeah. Is he crippled? No, 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 no. He's not crippled. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Sorry to bother you. May I know your name? My name is Princess Goma. I'm Prince Onochi. Uh, you know, uh, this is an open place. So I was wondering whether, you know, you could accompany me to a more quiet place. I just want to talk to you. <laughs> My dear, please tell Amaka to call me when she gets back, okay? Yes, ma'am. I don't talk to strangers. I want to show you something. You want to show me something? Yes, I do. Where? In your car. Oh. <laughs> uh, your Highness. This car is for you. I bought you this car. Oh! Okay. Oh! Here's the key. Your Highness, mm -mm. I, I, I bought this car just to say thank you for what you did for me. Without what you did for me, I wouldn't be who I am today. No, <laughs> Your Highness. Thank you. Thank you, Your thank Highness. You. Thank you. Oh! Oh! No, no. Princess! Come and see what we have here. Oh. Ah. 
Your oh. Highness, what is it? Yeah. Look at the car Anoche bought for me. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. Anoche. Oh. Anoche. Thank you very much. No, no. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure. <laughs> This is beautiful. Ah, princess. What? What's going on here? Are you not the man I met in town a few days ago? You know, I met her in town some days ago. And I wanted to talk to her, but she snubbed me and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Princess, <laughs> princess and her stubbornness, she'll never change. <laughs> ah, anyway, Anochi, this is my uh, daughter, Goma. Uh, she's just got back from uh, London two months ago. Yeah. Yes. Please, don't be angry with her. She doesn't know anything. She has been in London for a very long time. Please. Um, princess, oh yeah, apologize to him. No, 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 yeah, she doesn't need to do that. You know, I like her way. She does be in principle. <laughs> you do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Anoche, um, why don't you speak up so that I can understand? Your Highness, what I'm simply saying is that I want to marry Princess Ugoma. Oh, wow. Well, that's why I'm here. <laughs> with this little token and with my relation. You heard him? Yeah. Uh, what do you say? That's a good one. I think I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're yeah, welcome, my son. Thank you. I'm already really like a son. <laughs> you, yeah. are indeed. Right. you are indeed. Uh, uh, um, I think uh, would you call the princess. Mm. Let me call her. Yeah, exactly. Excuse me. Yes. You're most welcome. Thank you. Most welcome. You abandoned us. Oh, we yes. didn't see you. The what nature, happened? the nature of the business. I know, I know. <laughs> She's in. Uh -huh. Ah, my princess. Yes, I uh, asked you to come. Oh, uh, greet our visitors. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, let me get straight to the point. Anoche here has come to ask for your hand in marriage. <laughs> I hope you like him. Because uh, we honestly and sincerely believe that you will make uh, a good husband and wife together. <laughs> I'm serious. What sort of embarrassment is this? What? Where are you going to? Princess! Oh, you should know that. You know, I'll talk to her later. That is what I ought to have done in the first place. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being so understanding. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, sir. My name is Thank you. Princess, please. Your father and I want you to marry Onochi. He is a nice man. And he's from this town too. Mom, can I ask you a question? Do you think that all the years I spent in the UK, I didn't have someone I was close to? Do you think so? I mean, you just expect me to dump him and marry this person you, you say I should marry. And that person you are talking over there in London, we don't know him. We've not even seen him. So how do you expect us to accept that marriage? It is not possible. Mom, I don't get you. It's not possible. I can't marry on Noche. It's not possible. I mean, I am the princess and I have the right to choose whoever I want to marry. 
And that young man, Onochi, that you are talking about, made you the princess that you are boasting of now. Oh, Onochi did what? Tell her. <laughs> Let me tell you a little story. Never in the history of Eziyama has the Igwe ship ever gone outside the Izumezu family. Yes, now, uh, yeah, you, you should help me talk to His Excellency now, so that uh, he will facilitate the payment. The job is already done. And my bureaucracy, you know. Okay, okay, thank you. The throne of Enziama Kingdom is not for sale. It is hereditary in a Zumezu family. Nobody can take it away. Go and get the throne back. Madam, I don't know. Oga has not been feeling very well today. Who did this to you? Oh my Hush. gosh. Sorry, sorry. Look at your back. What happened to you? I walked into my office this morning and saw my late father sitting on my office chair. You saw what? He warned me that I should get back the throne from your father. Failing which I will not even live to enjoy my wealth. Oh. You, know, you know, when I was like trying to say no or resist him, that was when he beat me mercilessly. What are you talking about? This is the third time he's coming to me with the same warning. What throne are you talking about? The one I sold to your father. Huh. Uh, there's a big problem. Because if it is that man that I know, my father, he will not give up that room for anything in this world. So you better start thinking of how to sort this whole issue out because I am not ready to lose my husband. Just look at your back. I think I'll travel to the village to discuss with some elders. I'll come with you. No, no, no. It has not come to that. 
You know, don't worry. I will sort out things. Just look at your back. Oh, sorry, I... sorry. How did this happen? Uh, no. Alicia, welcome. Thank you. Hmm. You, you don't look bright. I hope all is well. All is not well. Hey. No. There is problem. Problem? Yes. Ah. Okay, okay. Let, let's go in. Uh, uh, there will be no need for that. Ah. Yes. Mm, if he says so. Uh, now, tell me the problem. My father. Your father? Yes. My late father, the Igwe. He has been appearing to me all this while. Telling me that I must go back to Igwe Obajendu to get back the throne to my family. Your father? Yes. Appearing before you? Hey, oh no, dear. I see. That's problem. This is a serious problem for you. Now, hey, how do you do it? Because um, I know Obajendu, Obajendu. It's impossible. Obajendu cannot listen to you. That's why I came to you to advise me on what to do. I warned you. I warned you. But you could not listen. Okay. What do you want me to do now? Uh, please. I want you to accompany me to his house. Hmm? Yes. I know that if you talk to him, he will listen to you. Please. Mm. No, I will not go with you now. Uh, I will not go with you now. It's not yet time for me. It's not yet time. You see, uh, for some time now, we have not been moving on well. Since I told him that that throne does not belong to him. Pump and play. Things have not been going well with us. But, uh, mm, see what we are going to do now. Go to Ichi and Zeka. Tell him that I said, I said that he should accompany you to Chief Obajindu's house. Then after, come and tell me his reaction. Okay. Okay, thank you, Ono. Look, Prince Onoche. Okay. I will go with you to Chief Obajindu. Now that you have decided to take back the throne, I am solidly behind you. Whatever trouble he wants, we'll give it to him. Who is he? Thank God you now have money. You can take care of whatever problem that comes to you. Uh, to God be the glory. Well, I, I don't want trouble. Uh, I want this thing to be settled amicably. Uh, thank you, Che. Um, one more thing. Mm. We will go to the chief priest. We talk to him, tell him our mission, hear from him. Probably he might go with us. You think that will be necessary? Very, very necessary. Okay. In that case, no, let us go. Okay. 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 <coughs> I have heard all you have said, but I cannot go with you. What am I to you go near Yet you to add it If you know how you climbed the Iroko tree. You better come down the same way. I warned you. I warned you when you were about committing this sacrilege. But you turned the deaf ear to listen to the voice of the gods. Now, you want me to go with you to Chief Uba Jindu, who you gave the offer, the power and authority guiding and protecting the entire Ejama kingdom. Sha! Now, both of you, get out from this place. Before the gods strike you dead. Please, chief priest, please, forgive him. He is your son, our son. Our people say if you beat a child with the right hand, you pull him back with the left and console him. 
place. Not just for his sake alone, but for the sake of the entire Aziama community. Please, have mercy. <clears throat> uh, 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 please, Chief Priest. Whatever it will take, I will pay. I don't need your money. I'm sorry, sir. Please, have mercy. Tell us what next to do. Um, did you say or no we are aware of this? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Now, go back to Chief Obajindu. Come back here and tell me what he has said. Mm. Thank you, Chief Priest. All right. Thank you, Chief Priest. We have had it. I hear me. My in-law, why don't you speak more clearly so that I can understand you better? Your Highness, my father appeared to me and instructed me to bring the throne that I sold to you back to my family. And I'm here to plead with you to give me back the throne, please. Yes, that's why we are here. Yes, I, 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 I think we should, it's a joke. We should leave this joke and go on to more important things. Like how is my daughter, Princess of Hope? Your Highness, this is no joke. The last time my father appeared to me, he beat me mercilessly. I can show you the scars on my body if I take off this dress. Your Highness, even if it means my paying back the amount you paid for the throne with interest, I don't mind. Now I know you are mad. What do you take me for? A fool? Chief Obajindo, this is not a matter of madness. He said, give me back what I gave to you. And he also said that he is ready to pay you back the money you gave him with interest. Please, consider his plea. Now I know that you are the one behind him, pushing him. Let me tell you, you have failed. Yes, you have failed. Your Highness, with due respect, leave Nzeka out of this. He's not the one pushing me. This has become an issue of life and death for me. For the sake of my life, Your Highness, please give me back this throne. Let me ask you one question. Where was that uh, so-called dead father of yours? When you came to my house, knelt down on your hands and knees, crawling and begging me to buy the throne. Where was he? Now, you have made some change. You call money. And you think you can come back and to me and say, I want to buy back uh, that um, uh, throne that I sold to you. Uh, I can give you a little interest on top. Now I want you to go back and tell that late father of yours But unless he's able to give you 500 million naira within the next 24 hours, he will be late. Well, you better get out. Thank you, Majesty.
Prince Onochi. You mean that Ubajindo is demanding 500 million naira from you before he could give you back the throne? Yes. Hey! That man is very greedy. Chenzaka, hmm? from the day Onochi told us he was going to meet Ubajindo, I know that that man I know will not release the throne. Like that. 500 million naira. Ha! Why don't you? What do we do now? Is it because of his demands? Yes, my prince. I'll give him the money. Ha! 500 Mar million naira. You mean you are going to give him a whole 500 million naira? You know, 500 million naira is not my problem. Even if he asks for 1 billion naira, I'll still give him. My problem now is how to get the throne back to my family. What's going on here? What's in these bags? Your Majesty, this is the 500 million naira you asked for before giving me back the throne. As you can see, I brought it in cash. Yes. Tell your guards to count it and confirm it is complete. <laughs> no. I thought, I thought you were joking. No, no, I know you are serious. But your majesty, how can I joke with a thing like this? <laughs> Get out. Get out and take this nonsense with you. What did you say? You heard me. Now get out. Your Majesty, what else do you want from me? Out. I've respected you enough as my father-in-law. If you don't want peace, I will give you war. That you're my father-in-law does not mean I cannot fight you. I'll get back to you. Hey, Paul, take those things. You are looking for trouble. And when the trouble comes, don't run, no. You mean, Chief Ubajindu demanded such an amount of money from you. And after giving him the money, he rejected it. And he still insists that he will not give you back the throne? Yes, Chief Priest. Chief Priest, mm -hmm. it's not only that. He pushed us out of his house and warned us not to enter his palace again. Obramodi! Chief Priest, mm -hmm. please, I want you to advise me on what to do. Because if I do what is in my mind, this whole kingdom will shake. Uh, uh, no, no. I go and talk to him. But if you refuse to listen to me, you go ahead with your plans. But I have to warn you, never you shed blood. I have come to warn you for the last time that if you cause any upheaval or war that will warrant shedding of blood of the sons and daughters of Ejama kingdom, I bet you, you and the whole of your generation will regret it for the rest of your lives. Give back to Onoshe what belongs to him. The throne is his birthright. I warned you from the first day they crowned you the Igwe that you are not the rightful Igwe of Ejama Kingdom. Chief Priest, now let me ask you. You are not in a position to ask any question. Don't do what I've asked you to do. Give back to Onoshe 
his throne. Chief Priest! You have outstayed your welcome. Now get out of this house. I am not perturbed by your anger. I will leave when I have finished. Get, get him out of this place. I said get out! why I called you because I know that if you three of you should talk to the community on my behalf they will listen I don't think there is need for that because everybody knows everything from day one but who can talk to Obajindu amongst them so what are their reactions? They all support you. Yeah. Big support. Mm. <laughs> mm. But in that case, mm. I'll go ahead and fight to Bajindu. If you want me to mobilize our youths for you, I'll do it even from here now. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it has not come to that. Uh, My boys okay. are enough to deal with the Bajindu. Mm. Look, I am a mafia. But why I have not dealt with Ubajindo is that he is my father-in-law. And moreover, we are from the same place. If he were an outsider, I would have ended this before now. Oh, no go! Please, hold chair. That reminds me. What about, have you told his daughter? Your wife? About this? Yes, I told her before going to meet her father. But she told me that her father will not listen to me. <laughs> that is because she knows her father very well. Anyway, uh, I will suggest before you go any further, go back to the city. Tell your wife so that she can talk to her father. Um. I think uh, I agree with what Chief Jovius has just said because uh, I believe that uh, his daughter would be in a better position to talk to him in such a way as to make him change his mind. But where he fails to listen to his daughter, then it, it means that uh, he does not even have regard for her. Now take actions to recover your throne by all means. Oh. And we are all behind you. But what about the queen, his wife? <laughs> that one. That one is worse than Obajindo. She's ready to deny all her relatives just for that that status. <laughs> Um, I must say that uh, I'm grateful to you for honoring this invitation. Thank you so much. And um, one thing I'll promise you is that you will not regret this. Thank you. Um, Thank you. Um, I know it costs you certain things to come to this place because this is 300,000 miles. We don't need this money. Our primary concern is to see you recover your crew. And then we can rejoice after. I think it's Zega. Yes. And uh, you? 
Let me say I pack the money. I pack it. Uh, I do two accordions. Uh, I'm you. Thank you very much. I, I am very grateful. Because I'm I don't know what they can. Why must he say anything like that? I remember when he came here, throwing on his knees, begging you to pay him some money to take the Igwe, which you refused. And how your friend Dr. Francis begged you before you accepted the request. Now, after some years, he came back demanding the throne. What insolence! <sighs> your Majesty, I think you have to send for our daughter, Princess Ugoma, to talk to her so that she will talk to her husband. Because I cannot afford to lose this title, Lolo. Over my dead body. Who does he think he is? Who? My dear. I agree with what you've said. I shall send for our daughter. But let me tell you, whether she talks to Onoche or not, nothing and no one will take this throne, my throne, away from me. Can you imagine? Don't no, no, tell me. What do I tell my friends? <laughs> Even the governor of this state that I his Royal Majesty, Igwe Romanos Obajendu, the Igwe Neku one of Ezehamba's kingdom. No. That I, that I, I was once the Igwe, but now, oh, hmm. that boy is mad. That boy is mad. So, how did it go? There's a big problem. Problem? Your father refused to give me back the throne. You know, he even asked me initially for 500 million naira in order to surrender the throne. 500 million. That's a lot of money. You know, the worst thing is that I went to my bank, withdrew the money, and gave to him. Rather than giving me back the throne, he ordered me out of his house and warned me never to return. 500 million, and he still refused? Yes. What else does your father want from me? What are we going to do? I'll handle the matter. I hope you're not going to hurt my father. Provided he doesn't hurt me. Hello, Daddy. Yes, I'm fine. Okay, so. Yes, sir. I'll be there. Bye. Bye. My father. So, what did he say? He says he wants to see him in the village tomorrow. Good. When you get there, talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. My daughter, your mother and I asked you to come here so that we can iron things out. I don't know if your husband has told you the problem I'm having with him. Yes, he did. We were both discussing it when your call came in and you asked to see me. Good. My dear, you remember what I told you a few years ago? Good. You remember what I told you? 
the last time that your husband, few years ago, came to me begging on his hands and knees and asking me to buy the throne. The Igwe ship was his after uh, his father joined the ancestors. But he said he had no money to maintain the position. So he wanted to sell it and sell it to me. So I bought it. Paid him 20 million naira. Now he comes back because he has made small money. <laughs> Dad, you've told me this story over and over again. Oh. My main concern is how we're going to sort this thing out before it escalates into something else. Now go home. Talk to your husband. The reason why I am not doing anything is because he's my son-in-law. If this nonsense continues, oh, I promise you I will ask you to quit that marriage so that I can face him man to man. Dad, you can't ask me to do that. And if you don't want us to do that, then you talk to your husband. Talk to him to change his mind. Else, you quit that marriage. Like your father, his majesty rightly said. Yes, mom. Yes. Honey, please. Uh, can we just forget about this whole thing? Just for peace to reign. Yeah? My father warned me that if you don't change your mind, that he would. That he has no option to force me to quit the marriage. Enough of this nonsense. And I don't want to lose you. I say enough! Oh, 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 oh. Your parents asked you to warn me to stay clear from the throne, eh? Or else they will ask you to quit the marriage. Okay? No, quit the marriage. Quit the marriage! But what I'm telling you is that I, or not she, I am not ready to stop the fight until I get back the throne. Do you want my father to kill me? Were you not there when he beat me mercilessly? Didn't you? Onochi, please, I... I'd... If you like, quit the marriage. I'll just go and get another wife who will be the law if you don't want it. Onochi, another wife, a second wife. No, you should even be ashamed of yourself that they told you to quit the marriage and you even gave it a consideration. I, and it's not as if I'm listening to them, I'm just trying to talk. Oh, my princess. So, how are you? Amaka, I'm not fine at all. There's a big problem. What is it, my dear? You know you can always talk to me now. I'm your friend. Do you know my husband is meant to be the Igwe of Isiyama Kingdom? What? And what happened? <sighs> my father bought that throne from my husband because he didn't have enough money. But now he has made some money. He wants the throne back. But my father has refused. He even offered my father 500 million naira. He still refused. The worst thing is, my father told me to warn my husband to rescind from his decision to reclaim the throne. Or else, he will force me to divorce him. Jesus Christ. And what did your mother say about it? What else will she say? <laughs> well, of course, she will support her husband, not I. Is that a question? And your husband? Mm -hmm. What did he say? Amaka, that's where the problem is. Oh. My husband said over his dead body, will he sit and watch him take his birthright? He has to reclaim the throne because it's his birthright. And that if my father wants me to divorce him, that he's fine by it. Because he will marry a second wife. Good. Uh -huh. Good. I like him. Amaka, eh? are you okay? Yeah, of course. I, I just told you something. You're saying good. 
I said your husband is a good man. He's the kind of man I want. A man who can stand on his thought to fight for his rights. Yes. So, what, what, are, what are you... Explain. I don't understand you. <laughs> are you a kid? Are you not ashamed that you are sitting back there watching your mother taking over your position as the law law of Asia Makindo? Hmm. My dear, don't you know that being a law law, a wife to his royal majesty, is equivalent to being the governor's wife, first lady of a state? I don't blame you. You've been in London all this while that you've forgotten everything about tradition. My dear, it's high time you woke up. Don't say I didn't want you. Eh? Fight for what is yours. And moreover, in a situation like this, you're supposed to stand by your husband. Yes. I have come to tell both of you to quit this throne so that my husband and I will take back our birthright as the Igwe and Lolo of Iziama Kingdom. And what does that supposed to mean? Exactly what you heard me say. It means that you are occupying my position as the Lolo of this kingdom. Princess, are you sick? Are you out of your mind? Now, let me remind you, young lady. My husband paid that your so-called husband a huge amount of money to take this throne. So, he can and will never get it back. And let me also remind you, mommy, that your husband, my father, named his price, which my husband measured up to. But unfortunately, we didn't accept it. And that is your business. It does not concern me. What concerns me now is when I am ready, I will come back for what rightfully belongs to me. And if you do not accept it, I will fight with the very last drop of my blood. Will you shut up? Shut it up! Look at this girl. Have you lost your sense or something? What did you just do? Oh, I slapped you. Or did you notice it? Or you want me to do it again? Hmm. Right. Excuse me. What has come over this girl? I know that twat has hypnotized her against us. Everything all right? <laughs> There's no problem. Everything is okay in the office. Good, good. <clears throat> so, what has brought you to this neck of the woods? Um, Your Majesty, I came to know what actually happened. Are you quarreling with your community? <laughs> How do you mean? Your Majesty, just this morning, I went to the newspaper stand to buy a paper. To my greatest surprise, I saw this paper with a publication on it that you are no longer the Igwe of Izama Kingdom. So I was shocked. I was about to put a call across. I said, no, let me come by person with the publication. Let me see. Anachi? Princess? No, no! Your Highness. What? Well, well. What is the matter? Oh, manager, you're here. Yes. What is it?
What? What is the meaning of this? It was even signed by Onochi. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Your Highness. What are we going to do? What? God. I want you to summon my entire cabinet members. I want to see them immediately. Yes, yes. Let's take it easy. I have to be on my way. Manager, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Your Majesty, what do we do? <laughs> oh, I'll deal with that fool. How can he continue tarnishing my image to the extent of publishing it in a paper that circulates nationwide? Your Highness, caution. I want you to tread with caution. What I mean is that I don't want you to involve yourself nor this kingdom into anything that will warrant bloodshed, please. Oh, I don't mind doing it and appeasing the gods. And with all due respect, Your Majesty, I think you are going too far. Please. Uh, uh, can, can Abreba, this is not a matter of going far or too far. Because that fool has taken more than he can chew. Uh -uh. What type of insult is this? Telling the whole world, the whole country, in the paper, that our enemy Igwe, His Royal Majesty, Igwe Romanus Obajindu, the Ibone one of Ezeama Kingdom, is no longer the, the Igwe of Ezeama Kingdom. <laughs> this is a big insult to not only our Igwe, but the entire community, the entire kingdom. Um, uh, Mogidiga, what you are saying is true. But be, we cannot, because of that, make mistake that won't live to the great. How do we handle this on the ground? Tell me! What I'm saying is that there are only three persons that can solve this problem in this kingdom. Um, who are these three persons, if I may ask? They are Ono, Ichi Nzeka, and Ichi Tofios. These are the three persons that can speak to Onoche to stop this embarrassment in the kingdom, and he will listen to them. Eh? So, what I'm saying affects that His Royal Majesty should say for them, so they speak to Onoche, the matter is off. Mm. I think that that embarrassment will stop as soon as they talk to him. It's done, it is stopped. Fire! Mm. Let's watch and see. Mm. Right, in that case, I shall send my guards to fetch them so that I can talk to them. Better, better, Your Highness. Iwe. 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 Who is here? Anybody home? Yes. Iche, we'll greet you. I answer you. Who are you? And what do you want? Iche. We're the messengers from the palace. His Majesty requests your presence at the palace. You and Ono and Iche Teofilos. Now. Who is this, Your Majesty? His Royal Majesty. Igwe Romano Subajindo, the Boneku one of Eziama. Go and tell him that I am not coming. I have a house. If he wants to see me, let him come to my house 
and tell me whatsoever he wants to say. And let me inform you, don't waste your time and energy going to the Ono or Chief Theophilus because they won't listen to you. It's all right. We've had you. We have to go now. Your Majesty, none of them agreed to come with us. Why? They said that if you want to discuss anything with them, you should come to their houses. We even wanted to use force on one of them. But he resisted. He said he just out away. Really? Mm -hmm. I see. Thank you. You may go. Princes are but kings are every stage. But I'm never letting go of my heritage. The tone of my father's my destiny. The tone have call out. Well, thank you. Thank you, but no thanks. Um it's a I was expecting to find him here. He's coming. He's coming. Mm -hmm. uh, he can go on and talk to us. We'll communicate to him later. Mm. Well, actually, I asked to see the three of you because I want us to discuss about what has been going on in this kingdom since Anache came asking me to return the throne which he offered to sell to me, which I paid for. And you know I paid for it. Since he came back, there has been no peace in this land. Everything has been topsy-turvy. Nothing. It's, everything is hanging. He has been causing a lot of trouble in this land. Point of correction. Um, Chief Obadjendo, Onoche is not the one causing any trouble in this kingdom. Rather, you are the one. Wait, Tio. Wait, 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 wait. Let us hear him out. Let us understand what... What is there to understand again, Ono? One or two is looking for one that right belongs to him and Shaharia. I know. Ah. Hold it there. Hold it there. Ah. Chief of Badindo, please uh, go on uh, and tell us what you want us to do for you. Oh, no. Thank you. I know that Anoche will listen to the three of you. I, uh, I would like to talk to him, to tell him to stop maligning my name. I have done him no wrong, but what he is asking of me is impossible. <laughs> and I will tell him to back off. You see what you are going to do? Summon a meeting of all your cabinet members. Eh? Then, uh, any day, any time, you choose. Send for us, and while we are coming, we shall bring him along. Then, in the presence of everybody, talk to him. And I know he will listen to us. Mm. I hope I've spoken your mind. Bam! Huh? You have said it all. No. Good. Thank you. Thank you. I owe you one. Uh, what is happening here? It's not a village here that you're going. I know. What are you doing with all these bags? They're my personal stuff. I'm there on a mission and I'm not coming back until I am through with it. Mm. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> but please, take it easy. I will. Okay. I'll be there tomorrow. Mm. Oh, no, and the other sent for me. I'll be waiting. Thank you. Mm. Don't miss me too much. <laughs> <laughs> um, my friend, be careful, okay? My wife is there. Bye. I'll never let you go of my heritage. The tone of my father's my destiny. The tone of my land belongs to me. Even if I lose it, 
riches and the more It's my throne, the throne of my father's my destiny The throne of my land belongs to me Even if I lose it or give it away Riches and the more It's my throne Ugoma, what is the problem? Why are you blocking my way? Oh, oh, that. I I was just driving by. We were just driving by. I saw you and decided to stop and have a word with you. Have a word with me? Mm. On the road? Don't you know the way to the house? I know. It's just that I've been very busy preparing to take over the position as a lord of Isiama Kingdom. You know, I would like you to go home. Tell your husband to relinquish the throne to my husband. It's his birthright. Let's take over what rightfully belongs to us. There's no point haggling about this thing like market women. <laughs> you know, and this isn't yours, you know. It's mine. That's just what I wanted to tell you, Mom. Hmm? You mean the princess stopped you on the road and said all that to you? You, her mother? Your Majesty, you need to see the embarrassment, the way and manner she spoke to me in the presence of my maidens and those hoodlums that carry guns and follow her around. <laughs> If not that she is my own daughter, I would have taught her the lesson of her life. No, no, no. It has not come to that. And I mean, the princess is a, is a child. At her age, you still call her a small girl? I've already gotten married as well? The most annoying part of it is that she said she is back and back for me. What does that supposed to mean? Which means she came back to this village to fight me, her mother. I will not only that next time. I will not! It's all right, it's all right, Lord. It's all right. It's all right. You see, her husband and the cabinet will meet tomorrow. By the time they finish talking to him, I'm sure all this rubbish will stop. You people should talk to him. To talk to that wife of his. Because I will never tolerate that insolence again from her. I will not talk to him. All right, Lolo. I am upstairs. Princess are but kings are born Life can be hard at every stage But I'm never letting go of my heritage The throne of my father's my destiny The throne of my land belongs to me Get down. Take the keys from him. Is Princess! That... Get down! Princess! I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, and what is the meaning of this? This is my husband's car. He bought it for your husband. It's a shame that as a lolo you cannot afford your own car. Let's go. Stage, but I'm never letting go of my 
I lose it or give it away? Oh, and Namo. It's my throne, the throne of my father's mind. What's your mother's car doing here? Who gave her? She claims to be the Lolo. She should tell her husband to buy her something like this. She can't be parading around town with my husband's car. I took it from her. Honey, this is not the way to handle issues. Hmm? Relax. Take it easy. The fight is my fight. It's also my fight. My position as the law of Asiama Kingdom is at stake. So it's my fight as well. I can't watch her take my position from you. I know. But take it easy. Hmm? Let me have the key. Oh, no, I don't like what you're doing. I don't like what you're doing. You're not making me look as if I want to make a fool of myself. I'm not giving you. Please, let me have the key. Oh, no, I don't like what you're doing. If she wants something like this, she should tell her husband to buy for her. Hey, GK. I don't know why you like doing that. Take this car back to the palace. Yes, sir. No mind. Mm. Oh, not mm. What a pity. <laughs> oh. So things have gotten to this. not delivered to this palace this evening then she will regret that I am her father your highness I thought you said you people were going to talk to Omochi and after which this whole embarrassment will stop oh we talked what happened but he was proving stubborn because the elders who were supposed to talk to him were actually behind him da and so my dear this relentless battle continues. <laughs> oh, yes. Are you trying to tell me that no one saw the person who brought this car here? No, Your Majesty. The man said he had a car horn and uh, opened the gate to know, the small gate, to know who was inside the car. But he couldn't see anybody. So I decided to drive it in myself. Oh. You decided to drive in the car? Did you decide to search the car? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, I didn't. Now you go and search that car very well. Yes, Your Majesty. Um, I want to tell you people why I invited you. You know, you are my eyes in this community. And that is why I confide in you. In all the things I do. In this fight between Ubajindo and I. I want to tell you my next plans. I want people to crown me the Igwe immediately. Since I have 80% support of the people. Let us start the plan immediately. And in the three in the next three market weeks, the Ono here will crown me the way and that is it. I want to forget the fight mm. with Ubajin. Mm. Wonderful. This is a very good point. What are we still waiting for? 
Let us hold the bull by the horn. Come on. Akbakabawa. Asima Akbakabawa. Do you think it will be possible? Oburego Kogeri. I'm ready for anything. I have something to say. Crowning you, Digwe. It's never a problem. If you want it tomorrow, I'm ready. But there is a big problem. Big one. What is it or no? The offer. The offer that holds Asia Ma Kingdom together. You cannot rule without the offer. And you remember? You gave it to Ubajin the day he was crowned in England. So you are being made a Igwe now, crown Igwe now. It's not possible for the meantime. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Oh. What do we do next? Try! Is your my people are in trouble? When will this thing end? Um, oh no. We can get another offer. That one, I cannot say for sure. We better consult the chief priest. Consult the chief priest to confirm if it is possible. <laughs> what are you doing in my house? Have you come to kill my wife and I with your gun? Chief Ubajindo, I'm not here to fight you. But if you want my war, I'll give it to you. For how long will it take you to let go? In the interest of peace for your family and for the entire Asiama Kingdom. Why are you dividing the entire Asiama Kingdom? Why? Anyway, I'm here for the offer, which the chief priest refused to give you on the day of your coronation, and which I gave to you. I'm here to take it back. I paid you for it. And I offer to pay you back. Oh no, shit. It's not for sale. Did my husband offend you by making you rich? Huh? Instead of you to be appreciative of what he has done for you, you now use it against us. Not only that, he gave you our only daughter's hand in marriage for you to be happy too. Now, see how you're paying us back. What have we done to you? What? For your information, Lolo, I am very appreciative of what you did. But this is a matter I cannot help! And he that makes peaceful change impossible makes violent change inevitable. Chief Obajindo, I'm still waiting because I'm not going to leave this house until I take the offer. Get out. Get out and take your hoodlums with you. Otherwise, I'll call the police to bundle you out. <laughs> police. Now, you get in here and get me the offer. And if anybody tries to stop you, shoot me or her! Yes, sir. May I speak to the Commissioner? Ah, Commissioner, it's you. Ah, this is His Royal Highness. Yes. Yes, I want a young man picked up. His name is... Sir, we've searched everywhere. We didn't see anything. You sure you searched everywhere? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will be back. Wherever you hit it, I'll get it. What sort of madness is this? What sort of madness is this? I will teach you my lesson you will never forget.
Hey, security area. Uh, what's the meaning of this? I'm Inspector Jonathan. My colleague, Sergeant John and uh, Corporal Clifford. We are from the state CID, sir. Please, may we know you, sir? I am Prince Onochie Izumezu. So how can I help you? Sir, we want to know why you are parading yourself with arms and ammunition. I am a licensed arms dealer. And these guns are duly licensed by the police authorities. Sir, do you have uh, any legal document to tender to that regards? Get the documents. Sorry, sir, we have seen the document. No, it's okay. We are sorry for the embarrassment. No, it's okay, you're doing your job. You know, we don't know who is who in the society. Yeah. Right, you see. It's okay, thank you, sir. Uh, phone, sir. Thank you. Hey, boys, let's move. Is also licensed to carry arms. Uh, well, well, no wonder. Mm. Mm. I see. Okay, okay. I'll see. I'll, I'll, yes, I'll see you later. Bye. Is that the commissioner of police? Yes. What did he say? You know the boys following Anochi. They were assigned to him from Abuja. Yes. And he is licensed to import ammunition. What? <laughs> that boy is a mafia. Your Highness, we have to be very careful about him. About what? What for? He can't do anything. I came to see you. <coughs> you are welcome. Thank you, sir. So, what can I do for you? Um, I want to know whether it is possible to make another offer. Why do you ask? I want to be crowned Igwe, and I need an offer. Fulan, Ejiama Kingdom has one offer, which protects and guides the entire Ejiama community. And the right person to hold it is you. But you gave it to Chief Ubajindo. You cannot eat your cake and have it. You cannot be crowned the Igwe without the offer. So what do I do? <clears throat> to crown you the Igwe, we have to wait until you retrieve the offer from uh, Chief Ubajindo. Yeah, look, that American supplier, Tony, yes, he will be coming to Nigeria by Thursday. And we have to pay him $100 million to his account. So we just have to collect all the debts, eh? Okay. Ha. Where are you going dressed like Lolo? Well, since you are not ready to be the Igwe of Isiama Kingdom, when you're ready, you can come and join me. As for me, I am no longer the princess, but the lord. 
But your mother is still the legitimate Lola for Says now. Says who? Says who? I am the legitimate Lola of Iziama Kingdom. Come rain or shine. Anyway, I'm going for shopping. I'll see you later, my Mr. Prince. Thank you, my princess. What did you just call me? Oh, sorry. My queen, the Lola. Fazia, my kingdom. Better. I'll see you later, Dad. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, look, you. You take care of her. The community is not good. Dress like a queen when you're not. Look, I don't want you to dress like this any longer. Because the next time I see you dress like this, you will regret having me as a daughter. And who authorizes you to dress like a queen? When you're just like ordinary princess. Now you listen to me. Go back home and pull off all this thing you're wearing on. Now! You and I know that I am the legitimate Lolo of Asiama Kingdom. Look at this girl. So if you know what is good for you, stop embarrassing yourself and dress like the commoner you are. Ugoma, do you realize you are talking to your mother? What will you do? What can you do? You are sick. You are just sick. Stop parading like the queen, you are not. I am the legitimate queen of Asia Kingdom. If you know what is good for you, better. No! No, I, I've had enough. I cannot take any more of this. Get me the head guard. Yes, sir. What kind of a person is this? This is not the way we brought her up. Your Majesty. Now I want you to go to my useless daughter's house. Princess Ugoma. Bring her here. Bundle her, tie her, do whatever you can. But make sure you bring her here as soon as possible. Is that clear? Yes, Your Majesty. Let's go. We shall find out. We shall find out whether she is my father or I am her father. <laughs> uh, what is she doing that I have never done before? We shall see. What is it? That's the problem. 
Which problem is that? As we were coming back from the shopping, some bodyguards from the palace intercepted us and insisted that Madame must follow them to the palace. That Igwe ordered them to bring her. You see? No, you see you fools! Look at you! A woman I gave to you to protect, knowing that there is problem in this community. A right in your face! Some animals, spineless animals, came and took her. And you were there. I'm highly disappointed in both of you. No, sir. We wanted to react, but the princess ordered us not to. Because that's what happened. Get out, both of you. Yes, sir. So this man has the guts to kidnap my wife. You listen to me, young lady. From today henceforth, you cease to be the wife of Onochie. You will come back and live with us here. And let me see how you will not come back to your senses. Ever since you got married to that man, you have lost your mind totally. You don't have regrets for we your parents anymore. You talk to me anyhow, embarrass me anywhere you see me. One day you will even beat me up. But I won't let you to get to that. I won't! So, you sent these things to bring me here for you to tell me to leave my husband who is fighting for his birthright whilst you both sit down here as Igwe and Lolo of Aziama Kingdom. Very well. I will go. But before I go, I would like to say one thing, which is, Onochi is my husband. And his house is my home. And where the hell do you think you're going? God! Yes, sir. Take her in and lock her up in one of those rooms where she cannot see the sun until I say otherwise. Yes, Your Majesty. Excuse me. Excuse me! I said take her away! Leave me alone! I said leave me alone! Take her to the dead! Leave me alone! Okay, wait, wait, wait. Your Majesty, this is not normal. Eh? How can she just be against us because of Omoche, just like that? It's alright, my dear. It's alright. I promise you, few days in that place, her senses will come back to normal. Are you sure? I hope so. I hope so. and the audacity to send your goons into my house to kidnap my wife? By the way, who are you to put my wife in any kind of custody? So who the hell are you to keep my wife against her wish? I hope you remember that the lady in question happens to be my daughter and I can keep her anywhere I choose to. 
better lady is my wife and I paid you bright price for her. She doesn't belong to you. You don't have right over her. She belongs to me. Now you listen and you listen good. If you do not bring back my wife to my house in two hours, two hours I say, 30 minutes to return my wife back to my house or else I'll kill your wife and send her cops to you. Don't tell me. 30 minutes. Whose letter is that? Oh, it's from the state executive of the Council of Traditional Rulers. Oh yes, they have summoned me to a meeting next week, Wednesday. I think it's to do with this uh, uh, Igwe ship thing. Said I should bring two elders, um, to uh, the instrument authorizing me as the Igwe of this kingdom. Mm -hmm. That's good. That is much better. At least this whole problem will come to a stop. I think so too. What of uh, Honor Chi? I hope he's also not involved in the meeting. I haven't the fog guessed. Maybe they have invited him. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. So about the requirements, what are they going to do about it? My dear, I am not going to worry about that. I will just go there and listen to what they have to say. It's all right. That's okay. Your Majesty. Your Highness, dinner is served. Okay. We are coming. Shall we? Oh, indeed. <laughs> <sighs> Let me keep it. I always like your dinner. <laughs> and the actors. <laughs> <laughs>
The executive members of State Traditional Rulers Council, Igwe Romanus Obajindu and his cabinet, Prince Onoshe Izmiz, you are all welcome. Igwe Obajindu, we summon you here because of the problem in your community. Our ears are filled. And that's why we asked you to come here before it started escalating. We want to hear from you. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. You're welcome. Well, what is happening now fills my heart with joy because it will bring peace, not only to my kingdom, but also to every kingdom in this state. Once again, I say welcome. Uh, I have with me two members of my cabinet, um, as uh, requested by you. You can ask them any questions, you know, and, and they will answer anything and everything. We have nothing, no skeleton in our cupboards. Straight. First of all, I would, uh, I think, Ichie, Tijindu, I will start. Ichie, I want you to tell them, tell the committee everything. No, don't hold anything back. Everything and anything they ask you, answer. Is that clear? Talk to them. Che. Che, speak now. Talk. Talk to them. I'm sorry, Mr. Chairman. 
The chief pipes. Now you 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 take over. You speak, speak, speak. Um, uh, they don't want to feed this panel with lies. Mr. Chairman, I don't know what the hell is going on. Speak. You will budge in the Kanda, 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 Zoki, sit down. Well, since your cabinet members don't want to talk, now can we see the offer? Because that is the authority that made you Igwe. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. You are absolutely right. I uh, have it here. Not here. I always leave it here. I always have it here, and it was here. What are you telling me? I, I, I can, it's, it's not here. I can, I, can, I, 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 I can find it. I cannot find it. I don't know what's happened to it. What, what the hell is going on? Where is the offer given to you? I don't understand what's going on. I do not understand what is going on. Anything in the meeting? Where are we living? Uh, you, 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 you can hear me? Yes. And you can talk? Yes, I can hear, I can hear. Huh? Your, your Highness, you need to tell us what happened in the meeting. Nobody spoke. Even the Igwes, all of them refused to talk. They were all murmuring. Eh? Huh? Is it Pius. not true? It is true. Pius, even you? Why didn't the two of you, why didn't you talk at the meeting when I asked you to talk? Yeah, Your Highness, you asked us to speak? When? Your Honestly, Highness, I didn't hear anything. I only saw you mumbling. Ah. Your Highness, I swear you didn't ask me to talk. Hey. You, you were only murmuring. Ah. That is exactly what happened. Ah, 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 ah. Now I see. <laughs> um, yes, I don't cheer has bought you over. Eh? Ah, no. He has bought you over. Oh, no, no, no. I'm disappointed. You cannot I'm say it. You cannot say it like, like that. that. I don't no. want to ever see you anywhere near my palace ever again. Uh, eh, eh, eh? Even in the back. back. Yes. Hey. doing in my house? Have you come to steal the throne just as you stole the, uh, the offer? Now I realize I've been dealing with a criminal all this while. You are indeed a mafia. Now tell me, how did you manage to enter this place and steal the offer? Well, I'm not here to listen to all these pretense because it will not work. Oh, oh, you thought the Igwe's will collect the offer from you and give it to me. That was why you hid it and pretended you didn't see it. Stop deceiving yourself. This fight will lead you nowhere. Why don't you surrender this throne and have peace of mind? 
just look at look at the way your cabinet members denied and disgraced you in front of the executives of the Igwe's. Take a look at yourself. Just look at yourself. You're going down bit by bit and soon you will go mad. I'm not here. I'm not here. Do not, and I repeat, do not take my stance for peace, for cowardice. If you come back here again, I'll give you war. I'll give you war! But I'm already used to these empty phrases. Onochie, what is it? What is your problem? Can't you leave us alone? Talk to your husband. He knows what to do. Take a look at him. He's going mad gradually. Talk to him before it is too late. Now leave this place. Leave this way before I pour you hot water. Get out! <laughs> I'll go. Not because of your threats, which are obviously empty, but because I've told him what I came to tell him. I'll go at my own terms. Princes are made, but kings are born. Ingrid. Life can be hard at every stage, but I'm never letting go of my heritage. The tone of my father's my destiny. The tone of my life. Where is this woman? Even if I lose it, um. Go and tell Lola we are late already for the occasion. Yes, Your Majesty. Even if I lose it or give it away, it's my throne. Lola, what, what, what is the meaning of this? I, I, I told you this is a big occasion. And we are the special guests of honor as uh, uh, Igwe and Lolo. See, I am no longer comfortable with this position as Lolo. What? I don't want to be Lolo again. Can't you understand? Please, my dear, we have to back down. Meaning? This Igwe and Lolo of Eden has been causing so much problem in this community. And even turned us against our only daughter. Please, see. I don't want to wear any of these things again. And please, address me as usual, Mrs. Chidema Obajendo. And no more, Her Majesty. I've already sacked all the maidens. No! Your <coughs> Majesty. This man says he's from the State Council of Traditional Ireland. He's here to see you, sir. Ah, you're welcome. Good day, Your Highness. Good day. What who are you and what can I do for you? My name is uh, G. M. Bagwe. I'm a messenger from State Traditional Last Council. I have a letter for you, Your Majesty. Thank you. Your Majesty. I have to take my leave, sir. Okay. Um, I give him cola. Yes, Your Majesty. Thank you, Your Majesty. God. What is it? <coughs> what? <coughs> what is it now? Oh my God. Oh my God. You see? You see what I mean? Oh God. I thank you very much for answering my prayers. Oh. Please. My 
Dear husband, please, please, calm down. Please, please, you have to calm down. Please, my dear husband, let this not bother you so much. I believe that is the work of God. Okay, now, 90% of this community are against you over this Igwe issue. Have you ever asked yourself, ever since you became the Igwe, how many people from this community have visited you in this house? Look at what happened at the place you went for a meeting with your elders. They became deaf and dumb. And after the meeting, they begin to hear and talk again. The offer just disappeared like that, up till now. We are no longer in good times with our daughter and her husband, our son-in-law. All because of this Igwe. You and I know that Onochi is the Igwe. Only that the condition then made him to sell it to you. But now, he has made the money and wants it back. And the traditional rulers have expelled you. Please, my dear husband, accept the verdict. Okay? Please, I beg of you, just surrender so that both of us will have peace of mind. Okay? Please. Prince Ono Chia. Oh no. Hmm? Zaka. Chia Tio. Chia Zaka. What I am saying is that since Chief Obajindo refused to surrender the throne and the offer of Eziyama is nowhere to be found, sue him to court. All of us here, and some other members of the community will come and be a witness. Oh, boy. Um, what you're saying is true, you know. But let me tell you, if you take this matter to court, for the next 10 years, it will remain pending. The case will still be pending the court for 10 years. No judgment. So, what do you suggest we do? I think uh, we we'll keep watching him. We we'll keep watching him closely. Besides, the state traditional rulers' council have not said anything. We have not had anything from them. The tone of my father's my destiny. The tone of my land belongs to me. Even if I lose it or give it away. Oches and Namo It's my throne The throne of my father's My destiny The throne of my land Belongs to me Even if I lose it Or give it away Oches and Namo It's my throne What do you want from here? What do you want from us again? Why are you here? Come down. No, 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 no. Why are you here? Come down. Haven't you had enough? You've come to fight us again. Oh, no, Che. My son in law. You know, I like you. Yes. You are a very clever man. Huh? The relentless way you came at me when you wanted me, and only me, to buy the throne was admirable. Then you went and made some more money. You came back and you said you wanted to buy back the throne. I was curious. When I asked you why, you said you saw the apparition of your father, who flogged you and ordered you to buy back the throne. Well, 
I don't know whether I believed it or not, but one thing was clear. You have shown that you are a man who will not be denied whatever is truly yours. And this is very admirable. Oh, I have lost the throne. Yes, oh yeah. <laughs> I know. I have lost the throne. But I can take the case and dump it in the courts and let it stay there for decades. Oh yes, I can. But I will not do that. Because who are going to be the sufferers? The people of Azema Kingdom. Therefore, I stand before you and hereby declare that I surrender everything, every connection, everything I claim as a right on the throne. Eh? I withdraw. Yes. Too much has been going wrong. Our people are suffering. Let us give the throne to its rightful owner. And this time, the rightful owner, my prince, hmm. honor chair, is amazing. Yeah, Catch up! What do you know? I must say that I'm overwhelmed <laughs> that this is happening today. Oh, thank you very much. You're most welcome. And I want to assure you that nothing will come between us and nothing will cause problem between you and I from today and forever. Amen. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. How do I pay the money? Money? No, no, no. You do not pay back. No. It is a gift from me to you. You see, I want you to enjoy and experience wealth just as you made me enjoy and experience power. <laughs> Asigwe. <laughs> one, one. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Yes. The offer that unites the Zama kingdom. You know we cannot crown on Oche Digwe without that offer. Yes. Yeah. Where is the offer? Well, hon honestly, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. One minute it was there, the next minute it was not there. I honestly and sincerely do not know where it is. <laughs> That's right. A new era is about to begin. Ah, oh, oh. what is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is that the the gods have spoken. What the gods of Islam ah. have spoken. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> is that the Indeed. Oh. <laughs> is that the Oh, Jesus, and I'm all.